I just had this picture in my head of Chewbacca doing a slam dunk. I had so much fun doing it. It's basically anybody in my collection at this point will probably play some basketball. This is Jax Navarro, a California-based toy photographer known online as Plastic Action. His stunning photographs make Toy Story look like baby town frolics with inventive tableaus that feature everything from Chewbacca dunking a basketball to Aquaman facing off with Godzilla. His incredible work has even garnered attention from NBA superstars like Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. Recently, I sat down with Navarro to talk to him about his process and how he puts the action in action figure. This is Nerdist Now. Well, my first question is, how did you get into toy photography? Well, I got into toy photography actually by accident. I owe it all to my wife. She had the key to unlock the world of toy photography, which was this little BB-8 right here. <laughs> so she got me this for Christmas. It's one of those app-enabled droids. Started taking pictures of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to post this on Instagram. And surprisingly, I got some good reaction out of it. So from there, I, I discovered these artists who really put out this amazing work of toy photography. I mean, we're talking like stormtroopers getting blown up, like really cinematic uh, Star Wars scenes. And I was like, I need to do this. I need to buy my own figures. So I did and haven't turned back ever since. The challenges I had in the beginning, there was a lot, you know, to say the least. But I thought it was going to be a lot easier than shooting dogs because, you know, dogs, they're running around all the time. I was really into action photography. You know, most of my photos of my dog were blurry. So I thought, you know what, toys just stand there. I'll never have a blurry pic again. But I didn't take into account that you have to basically create everything with these toys. Emotion, the actual story. You know, dogs and people are easy, be or easier, I should say, because they are alive and breathing and they show emotion. But with toys, you have to kind of create that. So that was a challenge in the beginning was just, making them alive, essentially. I think that really comes through in your work because the the photos you make are so vibrant and kinetic, especially in things like your Plastic Ballers series. There's just a Thank sense you. of action to it. How long does a typical shoot take to like stage, photograph, and edit sort of from concept to completion? The amount of time it takes from concept to completion, it varies, obviously, because you know, if I'm working with one or two figures in a scene, that's one or two figures to pose, right? But if I'm dealing with, God, 20, I mean, I had one where it was Ninja Turtles playing basketball. It was about two years ago. And I think I had about 23 figures in that. So it took about eight hours just to set up. And that was very challenging. From that to editing, it took another two or three hours. So overall, that one took close to maybe 12 hours. So wow. that's kind of the higher end. Um, I've done one with my dog and uh, baby Groot. That one took two hours. You know, I'm not going to spend eight hours with my dog shooting too. But so that's kind of the lower spectrum. And so anywhere between two hours to sometimes a couple of days, depending on if I don't get what I want. Especially now that you mention it, like all those individual figures are going to require individual attention. So that can really add up. What would you right. say was your uh, most complicated shoot to date? Ooh, that's a good question. I would have to say that Ninja Turtle ones that, that I spoke of before, that had to have been the most complicated because, you know, when you're looking at it from the naked eye, you're at a certain height, so you see all the figures. But when you put a camera in front of it, you know, certain figures will block another figure. So you have to micro adjust. Mm -hmm. um, so dealing with that many figures, was was pretty difficult and then try having to light those figures too because you want to spotlight the two main characters two or three main characters and then keep the you know the other characters in the background yeah i have to imagine uh all those micro adjustments especially when you finally see oh i've just spent so long putting these all together but now oh my god this one's not in the right place right right or or if one falls over can create a domino effect right oh, no so, luck, you know, luckily that didn't happen, but it's happened before. One of my favorite things that you do is uh, your Plastic Ballers series. So tell me a little bit about the impetus behind that. What inspired it? Well, number one, you know, I'm a big basketball fan, obviously, right? Huge Laker fan, huge fan of the NBA. 
I guess you can call me a b-ball junkie, right? As I was starting toy photography, it was heavily Star Wars. And I just had this picture in my head of Chewbacca doing a slam dunk. I had so much fun doing it. So from there, it was like, now that Chewbacca's done it, who else can I have playing basketball, right? So I started throwing in Marvel, uh, the Avengers. It's basically anybody in my collection at this point will probably play some basketball. As a giant basketball fan, what does it mean to you when someone like LeBron James takes notice of your work? Oh, man, that was just, honestly, I don't have any words for that. I just remember Dwayne Wade, number one, he, he shared it in the stories. And then LeBron followed right after. And I was just, it was one of those pinch me moments. Like, is this really happening? Now, you mentioned uh, your collection. And I see a little bit of it behind you. And I know that you said it started with the BB-8. But how big would you say your collection is now? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, it's got to be in the thousands. Wow. Yeah, yeah, easily. You know, it's one of those things where I come up with a concept. I ask myself this question, do I have the figure to make the concept? I don't? Okay, let's go ahead and buy it. Do you have like a, a holy grail that you've been trying to get your hands on? It's just been like too hard to track down so far? Yes, there's one figure. I guess it would be a model. It's a replica of the uh, DeLorean in Back to the Future. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so it's huge. I mean, we're talking like this, this big. Do you have a favorite in your current collection? Ooh, another good question. My God. That's like asking me what my favorite food is. I like all food, man. <laughs> you know what? I always go back to baby Groot. You can put him pretty much in any scenario. You can put him in real life environments. You have him playing basketball. I always find a way to shoot this little guy. Plus, he's cute, too. Yeah. But, but you know, baby Yoda will be coming out probably next year, so... I like that you, like, you got involved in this because you saw other people doing it online and it inspired you, what would you say to someone who is maybe inspired by your work and wants to get into toy photography? What's a piece of advice you would give to an aspiring creator? The advice I would give to people that are just starting, go out there and just shoot. You know, don't focus on putting out good quality in the beginning. I mean, you scroll back to when I started, it was hideous, man. It was like terrible four years to get to where I'm at today. And so, you know, you just got to put in the work and take thousands of photos. Don't be afraid to try new things. And that's how you grow. Jax, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. I really appreciate it. Where can people find your work online? You can find me all over social media. Uh, my handle is Plastic Action on Instagram, Plastic Action on TikTok. You can do a search for Plastic Action on Facebook, Twitter. You can also find me on my website. Uh, it's PlasticActionJax.com. That's basically it. Thank you for having me on, Dan. Yeah, it was my pleasure. And uh, I can't wait to see what you come up with next. Which is your favorite Plastic Action photo? What toy is your holy grail? Let's discuss. For more unique insights into the world of pop culture, make sure that you stay tuned to Nerdist Now.